Hey everyone, my name is Corey Kern and I'm a physical therapy doctor and I would like to show you a basic katsu warm-up for your upper body and for your lower body using the Katsu Cycle 2.0. <laughs> The Katsu Cycle 2.0 is an amazing product because it can go wherever you go. It's small, compact, and convenient, and you can get a great workout in a fraction of the time. So up first, you take the Katsu Cycle out of the box and you connect the hoses. Next, I clip the Katsu onto my belt so that it doesn't fall out of my lap. Then I take the bands out of the bag. I'm gonna separate the arm bands from the leg bands and place the leg bands on the floor next to me. You take the tube from the arm band and you connect it to the tube from the Katsu cycle. Now remember, you may have to press the button on the cycle side so that you can easily twist the tube from the band into and make a good connection. Then you unstrap the band, you get it loose, but you remember you want to keep it together. You don't want it to come apart. You pinch it with your thumb and your index finger and you slide the band up your non-dominant side. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and just lightly strap it down onto my arm so I can get both bands on before I tighten down to the base pressure. Sometimes you may have to wiggle your shirt around a little bit so that the band covers your shirt get all the wrinkles out of your shirt, make it nice and smooth so that when the bands tighten, they don't cause any wrinkling or compression on your skin. I like to reach my arm up a little bit so that I can get a nice tight fit for the good tight base pressure. Next up is my right arm. Reach out, pull it down, and as you pull, make sure that you align the strap along the strap that's on your arm so that when you put the strap down it doesn't overlap crooked or cause any sort of discomfort. So from here turn on the Katsu cycle and we're going to start by taking nice deep breaths. So this is cycle one. I'm going to take deep breaths and while I do that I want to roll my shoulder blades back, forward, up and down nice and smooth looking for movement in my arms and in my neck stretch your chin nod your head side to side remember to not take nice deep breaths while the bands fill and deflate as the katsu cycle progresses into each cycle you can continuously move you can rest when it deflates or you can just keep going so up next, we're gonna do the finger clinches, the fists with the wrist flexion, elbow flexion. So I'm curling my arms in, pressing out. The whole time I'm breathing deep into my belly. Nice, deep belly breathing. You don't want too much upper chest breathing. You wanna take nice, relaxed breathing while you move your arms nice and slow. Do your wrist curls. Go back to the shoulder rolls. Nice smooth movement from your fingertips all the way up through your elbows, your shoulders, into your upper back and neck. Remember to relax. You can pull your arms apart, cross them over, stretch out your shoulders, stretch out your chest muscle. As you pull forward, pull back, and then raise your arms over your head and down and into your chest. Take a deep breath, raise your arms up, exhale and squeeze the muscles down as you curl in. Wiggle your fingers around, roll your wrists around, and even pull your elbows in and out. You wanna pump every muscle in your arm. So now we're on cycle four. And again, continuous breathing while you have continuous movements. Integrating all the three point exercises into shoulder movement, neck movement, upper back movement while you're sitting nice and relaxed in a chair. 
You can do this in standing if you want, but it's easy and effective if you simply sit and relax. This is a great exercise to do in your office or in a plane or wherever you are when you have a few minutes where you want to get a nice katsu workout. Deep breaths, relax body, and just simply move. There's no wrong way to do katsu cycle. Just nice pain-free range of motion in your arms, in your hands, all the way up to your shoulders. Deep breath, raise up, and curl back in. Now I'm going to work on my shoulder rotation. So I'm going to go through internal and external rotation. And while I do this, I want to make sure that I squeeze my shoulder blades together on the back. You can spread your fingers out and in while you roll your arms over. Nice, smooth, relaxed, slow, purposeful movement to pump all that blood in and out of those arms. Wiggle your fingers, roll your wrists around, and relax. Do some arm curls, and after you curl, when you extend your elbows, you really want to squeeze your tricep muscles on the back of your arm. So curl in, curl your wrists, and make a fist, and then push out, squeeze your triceps, and spread your fingers out nice and wide. You're working all of the blood from your fingertips up through the bands and back into circulation. And that's a great thing about katsu, is that the blood is able to be pumped back under the band and out of the body. So there's minimal blood pooling that stays there. You can do some punches with some upper body rotation. Curling your wrists making a fist, wiggling your fingers, rolling things around. Remember to breathe and smile. While you do this, you want to work in a pain-free range of motion. You don't want to go into any motion that's going to cause pain or discomfort without katsu. The katsu cycle is simply helping the circulation in and out of your arms while you do a typical upper body movement. Notice now how I'm doing PNF therapeutic patterns. So D1 and D2 flexion and extension patterns. That's the end of the cycle, eight rounds. So I push the power button and that stops, takes it out of the pro mode. Take off the left band. I like to keep everything organized, so I'm gonna Take the arm band and Velcro it over, and then attach the hose to the band so that it stays nice and clean. Next up, we're gonna to move to the legs. So place the arm bands down to your side, pick up the leg bands, you unstrap the bands, and you can rest them gently on your legs while you get the other band prepared Unstrap the leg bands, lengthen them out, and then when you put it on your leg, you're going to want to scoot forward in your chair just slightly so that your upper thigh is not sitting on the actual chair. You need to get the band way up in that thigh. So scoot forward, your feet are on the ground, and try to relax your leg. <coughs> Connect the bands together by placing the Katsu logo through the clip on the outer band. Pull tight with one arm and anchor it down and strap it over. Wrap the inside part of the band through your legs and remember to make it nice and even along the band so that it doesn't overlap.